What would you say to the next president of the United States or European leaders regarding the colonial situations in the Americas? Um, <laughs> I, I would say that um, I would say that I, I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Fair That's enough. what I would say. <laughs> uh, simply because I I, I believe my, my personal opinion is that um, Europeans and especially especially the political the ruling classes who have so much invested interest in, in this colonial system in this imperialist system they have so much to lose that is is pointless trying to convince them that we need a revolution <laughs> uh, so I would say in, instead of um, instead of asking questions of, of them uh, ask questions of our own people my people indigenous and African people what are we going to do um, for our people what are we going to do in the next 100 years what legacy are we going to leave our people are we going to allow Europeans to continue oppressing us are we going to allow them uh, allow our children to continue to be cheap labour uh, for, for European companies European industries um, are we going to yeah are we going to continue being an oppressed and an oppressed people politically economically socially and, and so on um, and and if we are and if we are going to overthrow the system if, if we're really going to change the system it can't just be through social activism um, and its various aspects, whether it's, uh, I don't know, housing rights or gay rights or so on, which are important. We, we must also like, you know, join, join those movements. But in the long term, we need to develop a political consciousness, a political plan, a pl political program uh, to give an alternative to this oppressive system. We want to overthrow the system and replace it with something more just, uh, for everyone, um, and you know, if we need to work towards that, we need to work towards liberating ourselves uh, from this colonial mess, colonial mess of 500 years. <laughs>